Everybody in their gut knows what we're saying is true. 96% of Americans believe that the influence of money in politics needs to be reformed. So it's not a problem of convincing them about the truth. The problem is about convincing them there's something we can do about it. Most of the organizations have been thinking about this as if it's a problem that could be solved within the Beltway of Washington. But I think we've come to a place where Washington cannot cure itself. So we've got to do something that nobody's really tried to do, which is to build a genuinely cross-partisan, grassroots movement to force them to change. That's you. The idea of the New Hampshire Rebellion is to get citizens in New Hampshire to turn the table on this presidential election, to get every single presidential candidate in every event between now and 2016 to be asked this one question, how are you going to end the system of corruption in Washington? So since January 11th, I have understood in a very physical way the sense that we take one step after another. The thing we must do is to change how we fund elections. Well, to me personally, I think it is the first issue that has to be solved. You know, whatever issue you're concerned about, whether it's global warming or health care, um, you know, or national security, none of those issues are going to be solved effectively until we fix the money in politics problem. This has been an important issue for a number of years, and I never felt like there was anything I could do about it. I didn't know anybody who was working on it. I didn't know any of the information, you know, where I could contribute. You know, and today I feel like I could make a difference. Well, I'm retired. Uh, I've got some energy, and uh, I think that reforming our political system and the way we finance it is literally the paramount issue of our time. Now, we started this through this march. Some call it the insane march. Um, I call it the insane march. Um, <laughs> the march from Dixville Notch to Nashua, a march that has been an extraordinary success. We have brought together an incredible collection of people who have committed to this issue and marched across this state convincing and persuading and talking. You just got to look at them and you got to say, well, hey, I got one question for you first, or you got my vote. What are you going to do about the corruption in Washington? Does that sound like something you could do? Have you ever met one of those guys? If I ever met one, sure. Yeah, if they ever come through <laughs> here. And I can tell you they're going to stumble on their face and not have an answer. <laughs> would you mind asking a question for us? What are they going to do about the corruption in D.C.? Can you make yeah. that your first question? I will. I'm good. I'm Gabriel. Gabriel. Ryan. Ryan, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good live around here? I do. Right. The one question we want you to ask any politician uh -huh. that you have the chance to meet. Question Absolutely. Any politician. Freaking lootly, man. It's time. we got to do this. It's not for the people, by the people anymore. It's for the corporations, by the corporations. Well, I thought they were very dedicated to be having a day like today and very sincere about it. And uh, it's good to see that people uh, want things to go back to where they were, you know? That's what built this country. You know? We've got to get the money out. We've got to get things back to normal. They recognize that we have two elections in America. <coughs> We have a voting election, and we have a money primary. The funders represent a tiny fraction of 1% of America. 0.05% of America are the relevant funders of campaigns. You know, that's 132 Americans gave 60% of the super PAC money spent in the election cycle we've just seen end. 132 Americans. Members of Congress spend anywhere between 30 and 70 percent of their time raising money to get back to Congress or to get their party back into power. As they do this, for two to three to four to five hours a day, they develop a constant awareness about how what they do will affect their ability to raise money. This is a corruption of the democracy we have. So they will not talk about this unless we force them to.
So we walk. In a simple act of civil engagement. Something is possible here. Something is possible here in this state. There is a chance. But you need to join us in that. To be among the citizens in New Hampshire to stand up and ask this one question. What will you do to end the system of corruption in Washington? <laughs>